Hello guys and welcome to another profile tree video. So in today's video we are going to be covering a topic on WordPress. So what exactly is WordPress and it's pretty much going to be a beginner's guide to it. So without further ado we're going to go ahead and get started. So just a little bit of background story on WordPress. It's pretty much a free and open source content management system, so CMS, that allows users to create and manage websites, blogs and online stores. Now, it was one of the first released in 2003 by Matt and Mike. Now, since then, it's grown into one of the most popular website building platforms. And at least 40% of the entire uh, websites that you see online are actually powered by uh, WordPress themselves. Now, WordPress is built using PHP and it does use a MySQL database to store content. Now, it's also offering quite a bit of uh, different themes, plugins that users can use to customize their websites, of course, without having to write any code. Now, remember, WordPress is pretty much a platform where you don't need to know how to code. Of course, it's going to be handy if you do know how to code. Because there are certain parts that you could use to create something fantastic for a website. But it's it's just optional. It's not really needed in terms of co uh, writing code. Now, additionally, WordPress is known for its user-friendly interface and ease of use. That's why it makes a great option for beginners. Some actually say that WordPress has far too mo uh, many features. Uh, and some people are a little bit confused on it but hey you know the more features the better uh, that'll enable you to create such a nice dynamic website but we before we get uh, further into showcasing the WordPress site itself one of the main advantages of WordPress is the fact that it's very flexible so that's pretty much the ease of use so that's why that would be a uh, main advantage for it. You can create like a wide range of websites, as I've mentioned, blogs, portfolios, business websites, and e-commerce stores. It's very customizable. So there, as I mentioned, there's thousands of themes and plugins available to customize the look and functionality of your website to your specific needs. As well as that, there is a fairly big, or if not even large company, so our community. So, uh, Word, WordPress has a large community of developers, users who pretty much contributes to the platform with themes, plugins and support. And this makes it an easy to find resource when help is needed. I would say as well that it is fairly good with the SEO, so it's SEO friendly. Now WordPress is optimized for search engines, making it easier for your website to be found and indexed by Google and of course other search engines as well as that it's scalable so wordpress can handle websites of all sizes from small personal blogs to large e-commerce sites now with every pro there's going to be a con some people would say that there are security risks to wordpress now sites can be vulnerable to security threats if not properly maintained or updated now that's the key Factor anyway, you always have to ensure that you're maintaining your website and just making sure it's up to date with uh, everything. Check the plugins as well, make sure they're all up to date. Uh, some people would say that there's performance issues as well. So with too many plugins and customizations, it pretty much slows the bounce rate of the website. So the site can become slow, bloated, pretty much affecting the user experience and search engine rankings. As well as that, uh, you need some technical expertise. So while WordPress is easy to use for the basic tasks, you will need to know some advanced customization and troubleshooting uh, for that you would require technical knowledge. Now you need to consider also the potential cost. While the WordPress software is free to use, some themes and plugins can come at a cost. That means you'll have to hire a developer uh, for advanced customization, which leads to an expensive expense. And some some of you may may 
get annoyed by it, but you have to have, or you need to be on top of regular updates. Now, WordPress and plugins require several updates or regular updates to stay secure and functional, which can be time consuming to manage for larger websites. It's also recommended not to have it on auto update, just manually update each plugin. It'll be better for it as well. So that, that ensures that everything has been up to date for every plugin that you use. So now that we're actually getting into using the WordPress itself, there's a couple of ways to actually get into a Word, WordPress builder. So the first one would be to have a MySQL database. So there's a couple of those, of course, some, people, some of them are powered by Cloudflare. So you would have to get one opened up there. You've got one for Flywheel. Other alternatives would be the one that we're gonna be using, which is Local WP. So with uh, Local WP, uh, you can pretty much just set up a WordPress site on that uh, using the local machine. Now, Local WP is a popular tool and it allows you to create a local development environment for WordPress. And it's pretty much useful for testing and developing your website before deploying it to a live server. Now, WP provides a user-friendly interface for creating and managing WordPress sites to your local machine. So with the features such as a one-click WordPress uh, installations, automatic SSL certificates, you've got uh, easy access to site files and databases. So supports a variety of WordPress plugins and themes, making it easy to customize your site to your needs. Now, to use local WP, you actually need to download and install the software itself. So this is the WP uh, development tool. And it's available for Windows, Mac OS and Linux. Now, once you've installed it, you can create a new WordPress site and configure it to your specifications. Local WP also provides a range of tools, testing and debugging your site such as debug, uh, debugging logs, you've got error reporting and automatic backups. Overall, it's a great flexible tool to use. So we're going to go ahead and jump into using this. So this is how it initially looks. Of course, I've created one there called video test site. Now, if you were wanting to create a site, so I'll just click uh, stop all there. So to start a website, you'll see it here. So it's add loc uh, local site. Now you can create a new site or create from a blueprint site. Now a site's name, so just say uh, WP local. Now you get advanced options as well. So we'll just click on that. Just select the uh, preferred version and then WordPress name local WP I'll just do local WP and of course that's the WordPress email just put your own email on that then creates the website for you you just need to wait for it to fully load up well once that's, that's loaded up um, as you can see with the video test site that we have here, you can view it from WP Admin or open the site completely. So that's like the preview stage. Uh, and then you've also got the WP Admin. So if I go ahead and select the, let's just do this one. We'll wait for this one to load. So as you can see, it's installing WordPress. It does it all itself. Now you can install WordPress yourself, but there's quite a bit of hassle to go through when you're starting up as you do need a database to run this uh, as you can see WP local is doing everything for us and I'm sure there are other uh, applications out there not just WP local but this is the one I would recommend of course they have some pricing points as well if you wanted to add more features to your website so everything's loaded in and I am just gonna go to WP admin now it'll link you to this, which I'll show you now on another screen. So here is that other screen, as you can see. So we have named it WP Local. We're gonna do WP Local. 
and then WP local again. Let's just say uh, P local. There you go. I uh, had a couple of attempts there, but uh, you've, I'm now finally logged into the actual site. So this is the dashboard. As you can see, you've got appearance for themes. So these are the different themes. So if you guys used Shopify before, or Wix or Squarespace, you'd notice that they have templates or themes. This is pretty much it. You can add new themes if you wanted to and pretty much search them up. And there are quite a few to choose from. You can install them as well. So this one's Ocean WP. Or there's Cadence. So that, that just installs as usual. There's plenty there. There's Elementor. So I've talked about this previously as well. Got Popular FX, Generated Pass. So different companies creating different templates for this website. So we'll activate this. And see where it takes us. So that is now installed. So now that this is our theme, we can go ahead and customize that. Or if we wanted to view the website, just click here. This is how the site is currently looking. Oh, so accidentally just clicked off that. So that is pretty much the appearances there you've got the details of that theme that particular theme and you can customize it if you want to as well so easily customizable uh, as you can see this is currently how it looks now you can add some colors in so if i wanted it like this it'll change the text color to that so that's my uh, text header color. Uh, of course, we've got site identity, so we could change that to L tree. So that changes the profile tree. Uh, there's ways to publish it as well if you want to. Now there's blogs, header, top bar. Uh, I can add additional CSS if I have that technical knowledge for it. Uh, as you can see. And then there's the home page settings as well. I've got a header, general uh, menus item there, widgets. Uh, so yeah, pretty much just packed full of everything and it's got a uh, different optimization like desktop, mobile, and the tablet. So if I exit off that, let's see here. So we'll, you can hide those controls as well. Let's see, we'll just exit out. So that's the uh, the way to customize your site just by clicking on that customize button there. Now, if you wanted to uh, add some plugins to help boost your website's ranking, it's just here. So we'll just click off this and you can add new plugins in. So if you have the iThemes, Security, there's security ones there. And if you wanted SEO, there's plugins for SEO as well. Yoast SEO, uh, all in one SEO. And if you do update, uh, download them, you gotta make sure you update them as well. Uh, people can add comments as you can see. Uh, you've got some pages, posts, users. You can monitor the people that are here, you've got tools, settings. So quite a lot of options. Pretty much works the same way as it would with a uh, another website builder. And you can see why people would like to use this more than any other ones, as you can see. Now I wanna go ahead and show one of the sites. Let's see if I can look for a site here. One wee second. So here was a site created uh, about a year ago and we'll go ahead and take a look at this. So this one's a little, a little bit different. This was built using Elementor and the use of visual code. So I'll see if I can get the site to run here just to show you an example of some of the things that you can make possible. 
Okay, so at the minute this one's the old one. So unfortunately couldn't get up the original uh, site I wanted to show, but this is a WordPress website itself as well. So you can see how well detailed you can create a website for yourselves. See everything is functional. Uh, we've also got some dynamic, uh, well we've got our, our dynamic header as you can see. So yes, uh, that's pretty much just an example of a WordPress website. So there you have it, that is WordPress itself. As you, as you would know, uh, WordPress is a popular choice for creating a website. And you could see how easy it would be to use, the amount of customizability, the SEO friendliness, some of the plugins that we looked at. Of course, with the large community, it's gonna be easier to create a site for that its cost effectiveness as well, and mobile responsiveness. If you guys have any questions at all regarding our video, or if you're looking maybe to build a website and you need some help with it, uh, please do let, uh, let us know. Um, check out our website as well for more information on some of the things that we looked at today, which is WordPress. But yes, uh, as I said, that reaches the end of the video. So I'll see you guys for the next video. Thank you very much for watching.